The Global Energy Talent Index 2019 indicates a huge gender gap in the oil and gas sector. I'm here today with Vidya Ramnath, who is the new president for Emerson Automation Solutions Middle East and Africa, to talk about digitalization and diversity in the industry. You're watching Spotlight. So, Vidya, um, you know, there's been this huge trend about digitalization. People are talking about getting digital. Is diversity a trend as well? When I stepped into this role, I was amazed to see the amount of progress that's been happening right here in this region. I see, for example, in um, when you talk about diversity, that there's been a conscious action from a national level. You know, when I'm talking about countries like the UAE and Saudi I see there are national diversity councils that are taking action on this. I also see, of course, that um, our, some of our big customers, um, like Aramco and Adnoc, they are doing some diversity programs that make it so obvious that they are jumping in to try to take action. Because we all know that we are kind of a little bit behind, especially in the oil and gas industry. You know, when you stack up, all the industries and you look for diversity stats, you'll find that oil and gas is a little woefully behind the rest. You know, you'll see probably most likely that the health industry, for example, or, you know, the services industries are a little ahead in terms of diversity. I'm talking just gender diversity here, right? But you'll see that oil and gas is a little further away and that needs to improve. And the reason why everybody feels so strongly that it needs to improve is the actual results that come out with a more diverse workforce. I mean, the kind of innovation that you could do, the kind of results that you get um, from a more engaged workforce through diversity has such an appeal to our customers, to us as an automation solutions provider as well. Now, you know, we hear a lot about the talent gap and we hear a lot about trying to recruit youth and how digital can play into that. But does digitalization have any link to gender diversity or diversity in oil and gas? Yeah, and I think that's a very interesting question. I think it works both ways. That's, that's my opinion. I think that diversity uh, benefits digitalization and the other way around. So let's talk about digitalization, for example. Um, we know that we are in a very um, sort of different environment. Ever since the oil price crash, for example, the oil and gas industry has been disrupted in so many ways. There's a lot of ways that digitalization can provide huge benefits. Now, in that, when you look at some of the changes that are happening out there, um, there's aging workforce happening, right? There's the skill sets are fast disappearing. So where do you go to? You gotta go out and look at the broader set available and you cannot ignore the diversity at that point. So I think it's so important that diversity, um, you know, getting our female population out there digitally fluent is going to help us bring more and more engaged minds into solving some of these disruptive problems that are happening in our midst right now. Mm -hmm.